Hey everybody, it's Matt here and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Level, and in this episode we're going to be answering the question of whether or not Japanese DS games work on US 3DSs, and the answer is a bit more complicated than you might think. So first things first, you might have actually heard that the 3DS is region locked, meaning that it can't play games from other regions, compared to the region of 3DS that you own. So for example, if you have a US 3DS, then it can't play Japanese games of any kind, or you have a European one and it can't play US or Japanese ones, and we can keep going, you know, with the uh, with the cycle here. But the point is, is that it can't play games from other regions. However, that is actually incorrect. So when it comes to 3DS games, yes, sadly, you can't play games that aren't from your region, but when it comes to DS games, for the most part, you can. Before I show you which one that I have on hand that will work, I do want to mention that there are definitely some that won't. And the reason why is because when it comes to the version of the DS that is on the 3DS, it is actually the DSi. And the DSi had firmware on it that you could update, and because there are certain games that actually get a certain boost in some way or another by being played on a DSi, those are the ones that are region locked. And I'll have a list of those down below, but ones that I can confirm off the top of my head are games like Pokemon Black and white and Pokemon Conquest, meaning that while you have a US 3DS, you can't just pop in a Japanese copy of Pokemon Conquest or Pokemon Black and White 2, because the firmware that's on it is actually from the DSi, not the original Fat DS, which definitely does suck. But the game that we're going to be using today is Jump Ultimate Stars, which actually does have an English fan patch, which is really cool, so you can actually play this game in English. But that doesn't mean that you can play it on any 3DS or even a 2DS, because when you pop it in, while you can still play it, to be fair, it does turn on, as you can see here, it, it does read it and whatnot, that doesn't mean that it will be in English. Now, it's kind of funny because there are some parts of the game that just naturally are in English, so you might think that it is, but actually when you get into the game itself, it is completely in Japanese. Just because you're able to play the game on a US console doesn't mean that the game will automatically be in English, or vice versa, if we're talking about US uh, and Japan, if you're playing a US game on a Japanese console doesn't mean it's immediately Japanese. So if you don't know Japanese, like I don't, and you're trying to play a really text heavy game, then you might not really know what you're doing. So I would suggest that if you're trying to get games to actually play them on your 3DS, 2DS and whatnot, then I would highly suggest getting ones that are a lot less text heavy so you can kind of follow along with what's going on. Now if you want to actually play this game in English, you will have to get like a flashcard or whatnot, and when it comes to 3DSs, they actually block flashcards, so you will have to mod your 3DS which, yes, I'm going to reference the meme, it is surprisingly easy. So you can do that if you want to, but uh, generally, though, you can't just play the game in English. So with a game like this, you might think it's kind of easy to pick up, but there actually are missions and whatnot that you do have to know Japanese to know what's going on. So even a game like this, a Smash clone that's actually really fun, uh, you still can be kind of lost while playing it. So definitely would recommend the English patch. Would not so much recommend playing it in Japanese straight unless you know Japanese, but I will say though that regardless, it still is really cool that we can actually play this. Still again though, it does suck that we can't play the entire DS library, but that's just what Nintendo did, you know, they're going to end up putting the latest version of a build to have backwards compatibility, not take an earlier build. You just take the latest one, that's kind of the industry standard. You take the latest one, throw it on there, no complications whatsoever, and then you just work on the actual console itself, in this case the 3DS, to make sure that that is you know, as bug free as you can possibly make it. Doesn't mean that it'll be bug free, but as bug free as you can humanly make it. But either way, still cool that we were able to do it nonetheless. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, if you don't like the video, you can still like and subscribe either way. I won't judge you for it. So, either way though, love you all, take care, and tune in next time. So, I'll see ya!